Have you ever wondered how many videos does my business or company need? Like, do we just need one video? Do we need 10? Do we need 100 every year? Like, what is that number? Um, and how do I figure that out? Well, in this episode of the Video Social Podcast, I'm going to hopefully provide you some clarity so that you have a better idea of how many videos you need to budget for your business. Welcome to the Video Social Podcast. Here you get answers and ideas on the latest video, social, and podcast strategies that will actually get you results because through your hard work, consistency, and patience, you will see your business thrive in this digital marketing age as you become a marketing hero. My name is Scott, and I am so glad to have you here, and I'm excited to get into this episode. Uh, How many videos does your company need? Well, this is, I believe, um, something that has been brought about and a lot of business owners and marketing directors stress over this. And they say, are we producing enough video? Is, is the video going to help us grow? Do we need more? Are we overspending on video? And so I think, it's, I think we need to stop and, and kind of remember something because there's a lot of misconceptions about video out there. And, and I think we need to kind of point them out. The number of videos that you have for your business isn't exactly the the way that you identify whether video is working. Okay, it's not the it's not necessarily the more video the better. And coming from a uh, a person who owns a video company or video production company, you know that seems you know wrong, but it, it's not. And so one misconception is all you have to do is just start posting video. Just start with video post a video as much as possible, doesn't even matter, just post, 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 and you'll see your business thrive. Please don't do that. Please don't just start posting any video that you can come up with and throwing it against the wall and seeing it if it, if it works. For some people, that is kind of how they see video. But, but you need to remember this really important thing. Video is a tool. Video is not the plan for marketing. It, video is not your marketing plan or your marketing strategy. It is a tool that helps you accomplish your video strategy or, or your marketing strategy. Video is a form of communication, just like billboards and radio and print and business cards and face-to-face communication. Video is a tool in order to communicate something. And so it's not the end all be all. It's not if your company uses video, it will succeed. It's if your company uses video well in part of their uh, marketing strategy, your company will do well. I hope that makes sense. It's, it's It's a slight shift, but it's really important to understand that you as a marketing director, you as a business owner and entrepreneur, it's not just hey, let's post video. It's what are we communicating to our audience? And what is the form of communication that is going to engage and get them to respond the best? And so we're seeing more and more and more that video is the preferred communication method with buyers. They're on social media, they're on web, they're on mobile, they're in their email, and they don't want to read. And so you need to think what, when you're looking at your tools, you know, and you have video, you have blogs, you have billboards and radio, those still work in certain circumstances. But you need to think what tool will communicate our message the best. And video is a great tool to use in order to communicate that. 
So as you're developing your messaging and, and you're looking at all the different things that you want your audience to know, this is the sale we're running, this is the rewards program we have, this is the training that we offer, this is the community outreach that we're doing, this is our bio, this is how we help, these are the problems we solve, this is our philosophy on things, this is why our philosophy should be important to you. As you're thinking of all of these different things that you want to communicate, you need to think what tools do we have available and how or, or which tool is going to be the most effective one to communicate our message. It may not always be video. There are instances where an email communication with a simple graphic or coupon may be better than a, a 10 minute video on why you're giving them the coupon. You need to think of the end result. You need to think of the customer. Think about how are they going to use this piece of content, whether it's an email or a postcard or a billboard or a radio ad or a video, how are they going to use it? What are they going to do with it? So don't focus on the, the quality of, or, or, or the quantity, focus on the quality. And you need to have patience with this because crafting your message is going to take time. And, and where we can come in and we can help uh, as an agency, we can help give you some direction as to how to communicate your message. And so you need to understand that this is a long game. Uh, so many people want the quick and easy way out and quick and easy is not always the best route. And I think the reason we want quick and easy is because we as business owners know that we have so many things to do and our time is so valuable that we want to get things done. We have, we have a line of things that need to get done. We know as business owners, we're never going to get through all of them, but we need to get through as many as possible. We don't have the time to sit and think and strategize as much as we want to. We don't have the time to do that. And so we're just trying to get things done where when you can bring in a professional company, they can help you, they can be the ones that sit down and strategize, and then you just need to sign off on, yes, that is what I wanna do. So, and that takes a lot of patience, but it also takes time to develop all of these things, and all these strategies, and how do we wanna do that? So, the next thing you might be thinking is, well, this is gonna cost us an arm and a leg, because we want to do, we feel video is going to be the most effective tool for, 60% of our communication. We feel video is going to be the best way to do that. So that might mean we, we need to do 50 or 60 videos a year. And if we're a small business, we can't afford to have a, a professional company come in and shoot 60 videos. So how do we do that? Well, you need to look at the cost benefit. And, and what we do and what we're gonna put together is, is like this spectrum. And so, you need to look at the shelf life of the video. If this is a video that you can use again and again and again and again, you know, or you're doing a mass uh, distribution of it, you know, you're putting it on your website, on social, on Facebook ads, Instagram ads, LinkedIn, um, you know, you're just in email marketing. If it's a video that has high ROI, then I would say bring in a professional company and have them do it really well so it really captures the attention of the audience. But again, more importantly than just capturing their attention, it needs to hold their attention because it needs to have a quality message. It doesn't matter how fancy or how attention grabbing your video is. If they're dropping out after three seconds because your message sucks, it doesn't matter. And so if you can do that on your own, that's great, but you just need to keep in mind um, where is your time most valuable? Now, if you're just looking to hop on and celebrate a, an employee of the month, or you're just looking to do something real quick, it's not something that you're looking to really bombard people with, um, but it's kind of like a, a, cute, uh, a cool inside look at your business, that's something you could just grab your video, give that communication out, and, and be done, and that's a video that's done. And so you need to think, and you, need, and you need to try very various things. You know, maybe you try something with your phone and you try to cut something together and it's atrocious. You know, but, but talk to a production company. 
Most of them will offer a free video consultation, uh, or at least they should, um, so that you can hear what they're able to do, what the cost would be. Give, uh, allow them the opportunity to give you a cost because you might say to yourself, that's actually way more affordable than I thought it could be. Or you might come back and a company may be way out of the, out of the you know, realm of possibility, but at least take the time to hear them out. And, and you may even get a couple of ideas on pieces of content that you could put together. So remember, just to recap all of this, Video is not the end result. Video is just the form of communication. It's the tool to communicate your message. So really focus on your message and who your message is to. And then if video fits as the best means or the best tool to communicate that, then use video. So however many messages you want to get out, think of how many times or how many of those messages would best be communicated by video. Understand that it's not the number of videos you put out, it's the quality of the videos you put out. And so focus on the quality, focus on the messaging, and have patience doing that because it does take time to get all of those things to line up. This is the long game. So if you're posting a branding video to your website, don't expect to make all your money back on that video in the first three weeks, especially if you're planning on using that video for three years. You know, look at the lifetime of that video and then see whether or not you feel you're going to get your money out of it. Try a lot of different things. Maybe try something with your phone. Maybe try something with a, with a, uh, a production company. But always think of your customer and what are they going to get out of that content. So I hope this kind of gives you an idea, um, uh, or at least it gives you a filter of how you need to be looking at how you use video. It's not that you're just using video, it's how you're going to use video. Is video going to be the best means of communication? Because you can film and record anything, but if it's not going to bring value to people, then it's not going to. That's why we release this podcast on audio only, where we release it with video. You know, for some people, it may not be the best communication method for them to sit and watch this podcast. I'm not that good looking of a person. And so they may feel better just watching or, or listening to it while they're out doing their things or while they're working or working out or doing things around the house. Or some people might say, you know, I, 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 I need to sit, I need to watch, I need to be fully engaged with, with whatever I'm doing and, and, and write notes. And so YouTube or watching the video might be a better communication uh, for them. So think of your customer, provide your content, provide your message in a number of different ways. And if that includes video, then, then it includes video and you need to buy into it or don't, but make a decision, go with what your, what your gut and what your customers are providing context clues for. Because if they're saying we want more video, give the customers what they want because you need to think of them first. We're going to hit pause right now on the video social podcast. We will be back next week with another brand new episode. So be sure to join us then. Thank you so much. If you stuck around and listened to this whole thing, I really hope you got some value out of it and got some ideas and um, just had a good time listening. So we will see you in the next episode.